Yeah, so the question is, how do I stay personally in the new story or interbeing? Um, and I, I'd say that I don't do that by myself. It's not that I can try really hard and through an effort of will stay in this state and therefore take credit for it, you know, because I tried harder than other people did. But it's really a place that I'm held by my community, uh, by the people who I respect and, and who kind of take care of me. Uh, and I think that we all do that for each other. It's not uh, a guru-led movement where some guy, usually it's a guy, you know, gets there first and then, and then helps the people who are benighted to come up there. It's not that kind of revolution anymore. Hopeful. Yeah, I'm hopeful. And I realize that in spiritual circles, hope has a bad name these days. You know, you're supposed to have faith. You're supposed to have knowledge, you know. Hope is kind of like this cop-out or something. But I think hope is a glimpse of what's possible. So I am hopeful because, you know, I get these glimpses and experiences that show me that what I'm working for is real. You know, it's not just something I'm making up. So you might come out of this course, come out of this seminar room or wherever you are uh, with this strong desire to do something. Uh, and maybe you kind of know what maybe you, quote, should do, but it seems a little bit too big right now, uh, a little too scary. And I would say you don't need to force it. This isn't like some big heroic thing that you need to do. Instead, feel into that part of yourself that knows that when the moment is right, that you will do it and that you will recognize that moment and feel the gathering of the courage that's happening when that moment arrives.